what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will finally conclude with a summary of the dignity of planets and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please 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 do subscribe to it and click in the notifications bell so that you keep getting the updates on astrology okay and finally to end the series of planetary dignity here is the summary of whatever we have discussed okay but i am giving it in a precise form so that we can understand the degrees also okay they are also important so before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time and just look to him and he will be there he is already there okay so who is the first planet that we should start with Yes, it is the sun god himself, who is known as Surya Narayan, the dispeller of darkness and the bestower of wisdom, light, sun, gets exalted in the sign of Aries from 0 to 10 degrees, as you can see in the second column. Okay, the exaltation sign of the sun is Aries, 0 to 10 degrees. I will not discuss why because I have already discussed about them. Please refer to my earlier videos and see them if you have not watched. Okay. And then similarly in Libra 0 to 10 degrees it gets debilitated. Okay. And the peak degrees of exaltation and debilitation is also same. Like for Aries 8 to 10 degrees it reaches peak exaltation and in Libra 8 to 10 degrees it reaches peak debilitation but i have just mentioned 10 here okay some take 8 some take 10 it is up to you what you take i don't think there will be much of a difference and then where is it in mool trikon now mool trikon is in leo but mool trikon is also the remaining part of the exaltation okay mool trikon is the second best place for the planet to be in after exaltation so if sun is placed in 20 degrees of Aries, which is between 10 to 30, it is considered to be in its Mool Trikon sign, okay? Not its Mool Trikon sign, but it is considered to be in Mool Trikona. And its Mool Trikon sign specifically is Leo, okay? Not the entire of Leo, 0 to 20 degrees of Leo, okay? And 20 to 30 degrees of Leo is considered to be its own sign, which is the third most powerful position for the sun to be in. So best is sun, best is if sun is in 0 to 10 degrees of Aries. And then second best is if it is in 10 to 30 degrees of Aries. And third best is if it is in 0 to 20 degrees of Leo. And the fourth best is if it is in its last remaining part of its own sign, 20 to 30. Okay. So moon has exaltation in 0 to 3 degrees of Taurus and debilitation in 0 to 3 degrees of Scorpio in Vishaka Nakshatra, 4th Pada and exaltation is in Kritika Nakshatra's 4th Pada. And the peak degrees of exaltation debilitation are again 3. And similarly in Taurus 3 to 30, it is in its Mool Trikon and in its own sign of Cancer between 0 to 10, it is in Mool Trikon. And in the remaining part of Cancer, 10 to 30, it is considered to be in its own sign. Similarly, Mars, the planet of the planet represents soldiers, okay, fighting, war, gets exalted in the sign of Capricorn, the sign of discipline, duty, commitment from 0 to 28 degrees and gets debilitated in the sign of Cancer, 0 to 28 degrees, okay. Because Cancer is the sign of home emotion which Mars does not want to be in. The soldier does not like to be emotional or the soldier should not be emotional. He should always be practically executing the instructions of the authority. Yes. And the peak degrees are again 28. And Mool Trikon is between Capricorn 28 to 30. And its own Mool Trikon sign 0 to 12 degrees of Aries. Okay. And in the remaining part of Aries, 12 to 30, and the entire zodiac sign of Scorpio is considered to be its own sign, okay? Jupiter reaches peak exaltation in 0 to 5 degrees of Cancer in the nakshatra of Pushya, first pada of Pushya. 
Okay, beautiful placement it is. The planet of spirituality in the house of emotions. And it gets debilitated in the sign of Capricorn. Okay, in 0 to 5 degrees. Similarly, and in Cancer's 5 to 30, it is in Multricorn and Sagittarius. It's on Multricorn sign from 0 to 10 degrees. It is extremely powerful there. 0 to 10 degrees. And remaining degrees of Sagittarius from 10 to 30 and the entire zodiac sign spanning Pisces 0 to 30. It is in own sign. Mercury in the sign of Virgo, which is its own sign. Okay, Mercury is the only planet which gets exalted in its own one of its own zodiac signs. No other planet gets exalted in one of its own zodiac signs except Mercury. And in 0 to 15 degrees of Virgo. It reaches peak exaltation and in Pisces 0 to 15 it reaches peak debilitation and within Virgo itself 15 to 20 degrees it reaches its Mula Trikona which is a very small space just like the exaltation of moon which is only from 0 to 3 degrees. So you only have a 5 degree window for Mercury to be in the Mula Trikona and in Virgo 20 to 30 and the entire sign of Gemini it is in its own sign. And Venus, the planet of love, gets exalted in Revati Nakshatra, fourth Pada, the last Nakshatra, the last star of the zodiac, in the last zodiac sign of Pisces in 27 degrees of peak exaltation. And similarly, it reaches peak debilitation in 27 degrees of Virgo. And in 27 to 30, and Libra, 0 to 15, it reaches its Mool Trikon sign. Okay. Mool Trikon is in the first 15 degrees of Libra and last 3 degrees of Pisces. Venus is extremely powerful in these degrees, just like all the other planets. And in 15 to 13 degrees of Libra and Taurus, entire zodiac sign from 0 to 30, it behaves as if it is in its own sign. Saturn, the planet of discipline, commitment, balance, justice, law gets exalted in the sign of justice and balance in 0 to 20 degrees of Libra. Saturn is extremely powerful in these degrees. The person is very committed and has the power of Saturn in a very good way in the first 20 degrees of Libra. And similarly, in the first 20 degrees of Aries, it reaches its peak debilitation. And between Libra's 20 to 30 degree and the own sign Aquarius from 0 to 20 degrees, it reaches its Mula Trikon. Okay. So if Saturn is placed in 18 degrees of Aquarius, it is in its Mula Trikon Rashi. And if Saturn is in 20 to 30 degrees of Aquarius and in the entire zodiac sign of Capricorn, it is considered to be in its own sign. Saturn is extremely powerful even there. Now, Rahu gets exalted in Gemini and also in Taurus and gets debilitated in Sagittarius and Scorpio because Rahu only likes money and it does not like to be spiritual okay because Rahu is the planet representing materialistic affairs and I do not have any planetary dignity to put the numbers here as per degree okay so I have kept it blank NA not available and Multikona of Rahu is considered to be Virgo. Okay. And Aquarius is undoubtedly his own sign. He is the ruler of Aquarius uh, other than Saturn. Okay. And Ketu simultaneously, if you reverse Rahu, gets exalted in Sagittarius and Scorpio because it is the planet of spirituality and going to the outer world. Okay. And it gets debilitated in the sign where Rahu finds exaltation in Gemini and Taurus okay because Ketu's duty is to make you detached from things but Gemini and Taurus are the signs of materialistic prosperity materialistic family life etc and the Mula Trikona of Ketu is considered to be Pisces the 12th house of giving up Moksha etc and it is the ruler of the zodiac sign of Scorpio which is known as its own sign so that's it from my side. If you have any questions, queries and comments, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you want me to do any other video on the dignity of planets, which we have ended today, 
then please let me know okay until next time bye bye see you all the best